Destruction All-Stars is an upcoming launch title for the PS5 developed by Lucid Games and published by Sony. And I'm going to be honest, it looks like it's going to really suck. Destruction All-Stars is less than two months away from release and we really have no information for this game. In fact, we have far less information for this game than for any other PS5 launch title. Just googling this game basically gives you the trailer from the June See the Future event by Sony, which by the way, when I initially saw this trailer, I was pretty stoked for this game. It looked really cool and fit a niche that I like. And basically that's it from the developer. They've been essentially radio silent about this game. Let's go over what little we do know. This is a destruction derby type game where you control a playable character slash vehicle and the objective is to destroy every other player you're going against. When your vehicle explodes, you can get out of your car to either sabotage another player or attempt to jump into a different vehicle to keep playing. This game looks like the Fortnite art style had non-consensual sex with Twisted Metal, and this is the child we were given. Oh, and we also know it's going to cost 70 fucking dollars. Literally, that's all we know. We know so little about this game two months away from release, it's pretty baffling. I know that the price of console games is going up this generation, and that's totally acceptable. However, the last console generation taught us that not all good games are $60. Take Rocket League, for example. Rocket League launched at $20, had fun multiplayer gameplay that was fun no matter what your skill level, and it instantly caught on as one of the most successful games of the last generation because of this. This is what Destruction All-Stars should be trying to replicate. This game does not look like it should be $70, and if Lucid Games thinks otherwise, they should prove it at this point. We don't know if this game is like a Battle Royale style game with like a squads duo and solos mode. We don't know if this game is team based. We don't know if there's microtransactions. We do not know anything about this game, but they do expect us to spend $70 on it. I mean, look at their Wikipedia page. It's just barren. There's little to no content for this game anywhere. I wanted to learn more about this game, but was just left wondering why on earth I should purchase it. Lucid Games has not even bothered to make a Twitter account for Destruction All-Stars. This is such standard practice in 2020. Literally every game developer does it for every game. They are busy promoting a new game called Switchblade instead, it seems. And it's almost like they do expect this game to fall flat and are moving on to the next project already. Speaking of Lucid Games, uh, they don't seem to have an incredible track record either. That doesn't necessarily mean the game is going to be bad, but uh, primarily they've been developing titles for mobile for the last eight years. Uh, I'd say they're most known for developing Geometry Wars 3, and they also helped with Need for Speed Payback, which was atrocious, by the way. With games launching on PS5 like Demon Souls and Spider-Man and Godfall and the entire PlayStation Plus collection that they announced, why should I buy Destruction All-Stars? To answer that, I won't. I'll be playing Demon's Souls because uh, I, I want to play Demon's Souls. But I would have genuinely given this game a shot if it wasn't a $20 game pretending to be a $70 launch title. Destruction All-Stars could have filled a niche in the PS5 launch lineup that was super needed, but to me, it just looks like it's going to be dead on arrival. Subscribe for more stupid videos.